is on yet? Hey guys! So hey guys, Richard Tech here, and today Open Open Automation has had its 15th birthday since OpenHab. OpenHab is a free on, online open source animation program that lets people interface with Raspberry Pi. Now that's not exactly what I need, and I wanted a home automation voice controlled light system to power those lights up there. Now to do this, I turned to us the Raspberry Pi, a Windows computer a relay, and of course, the lights. Let's get right into this project video. The hardest build is an Arduino Uno. I chose this for a project because it is easy to use and an easy program, and is a common item that everyone and almost all makers have. This is an awesome piece of hardware. It is run and is energy efficient. It even has a power port. Now, this is run by an ARM processor and basically runs a version of Linux, just condensed. This piece of hardware runs programs. It's a very nice piece of hardware that all makers should definitely own. Now, the part of this that controls the on turns on the lights is called a relay. A relay is basically a magnetic switch that turns on and off the lights. But when the when a voltage is applied, the two contacts are closed, and the point where the two contacts don't meet is electrically switched to those points. So you can use it for turning on and off objects. Now it's time for the fun part: wiring. Connect input one of the relay board to pin seven on the Arduino. Then connect a five volt pin on the Arduino to the VCC in on the relay board. Then connect the GND or ground pin on the Arduino to the ground pin on the relay. Now make sure to use the main switches, not the one on the end. That is for external power if you're using two or more relays. For one or two relays, it is fine to use the normal connections, and it is quite dangerous to use the other ones when you're not using three or more relays. Now the fun part. Now we're gonna connect the wires from the main outlet to the relay. So the first thing you wanna do is cut one of the wires from a switch into half and then take off the sheeting. After that, you want to go and then you want to open the relay switches using a screwdriver and then plug it in to the relay board. Now you want to go to in one because that's the pin we're going to be using. So twist the wires up and then input them and then screw them in. Now it's important to make sure that they are the contacts that are not closed automatically. Then just finish up your wiring. They should look like this when you're done. After setting up the hardware, we can now move on to the software, but before that, just plug the USB cable into the Arduino and then later into the computer. The relay should turn on, and but it should not have a light currently because we have not programmed it. I have already programmed mine, so it already has a light. Okay, now you want to go on to your Windows computer. It's very important that it's Windows because Windows has speech recognition built in. Then search up speech recognition in macros and then go to the second link. The link should be by TechProbex. And then you can click here on the link where you see on screen. Download the file. It should take you to a link, but then it didn't work in this video because it required Flash. I later went back and tried Edge and Volley, and both of them worked. So I r suggest that you use both of them instead of this. I'm going to X out of this window because I've already downloaded it. So now let's go over to the Iron Man Jarvis files. So we go into Iron Man Jarvis files after opening the Iron Man Jarvis files from TechProbex. Then you run the Windows speech recognition macros and installer packages. You can install it. And yeah. So after that, Windows speech recognition macros could come up in your menu bar. After that, you can see in your menu bar that Windows speech recognition macro comes up and then go to your main display. In that main display, search up speech recognition inside the Cortana bar. And then speech recognition menu bar should come up. Now you have to click on that and then it should work. Speech recognition is just start up. If you have any problems with this, just comment in the description. I had some problems and you can see. Now we can make new speech macros. So let's see how. If we click if we right click it and then we click new speech macro on the gear button, we can make macros. These are special things that allow us to do more sophisticated commands like using XML prompts to do stuff. This is much more easier for people who already know how to code XML. Now as you see it, ha it has been sleeping. 
Now, the, for your voice, you want to use a cheap microphone. This is a cheap USB PNP microphone, and I'm recording this video with it right now. I record on my Mac, but I'm using this to do this. This is a great mic with uh, cheap quality, but this is only $7, so I won't really complain, and speech recognition seems to work great with it. There's not, there's not much to complain about this, except that the range is horrible on this, and you have to hold it close to your mouth if you want to be able to hear anything in this mic. So, it, based on that, it's a pretty bad mic, but it's great for $7. If you get a better mic, then you can use it throughout your room. Now, let's set up the Arduino software. So, the first thing you want to do is go to your desktop and then open up the Arduino IDE. You can download the Arduino IDE from free from arduino.cc. They ask you to make a donation, I think you should, because they did something very nice. So, I will give you this code here, and then you can just put it onto your Arduino. So... It's a very nice code, and it just turns on your relay. So, I will just give you this code, and you guys can see. Then, just press the upload button, and it'll upload to your computer. Or, in my case, the Arduino. Let's see what it does. It defines the relay, and then it d does this. So, the relay 1 is switched to pin 1, which means it turns it off. You want to change this to 0, so it can turn on. But, 1 will be off. Now, there's not a better way to do this, but I haven't figured it out yet. So, now we're going to just plug everything in. So, plug in your Arduino, and then plug in the cables that reach this. Now, plug in everything, and let's see if it works. So, just plug in the devices you want to use with it, and make sure no wires get disconnected while you're doing this. This is very important. Just make sure no wires get disconnected so everything works properly. It's very frustrating to have to go back and then fix the wires again when you're almost done with the project. So in my room, the lights go all the way around this, and it just stops near my bed. I don't have quite enough to fill the whole room, and these are cheap ones I got from a Christmas sale at Rite Aid. Let's get back to see if it actually works now. Let's upload the sketch. So now let's test it out. So what I'm going to say is open Arduino. Open Arduino. It takes a couple of cries and Arduino opens up. And then I say, press control U. Press control U. It, it presses the keys and the speech is compiled. It takes a while for the sketch to compile and then it uploads. After that, the lights will have turned on. And we can see if that's really the case by going to here and checking it out. If the red relay is on, the lights are turned on. Now let's check the real deal, the lights. It's worked! It worked! It worked! Yeah, 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 yeah. If you want my cool wallpapers, please check out visiontech.com slash wallpaper. And thank you guys, I will see you in the next video. So, as always, stay cool and stay creative. I will see you in the next one, boys.